you're really going into a country that's kind of in the worst shape it can be in. You're not just going in there to try to get a church going. You're actually going in there to try to change a culture. You're trying to create education. Most of the children are not educated. The school there is one of the best in the country. And you're also trying to produce an economy, not change the economy. I guess you are changing it by there being one. I've seen two responses from people who go to other countries. One is they come back and kiss the ground and say, God bless America. The other is they come back and say, God help us. This is the school. They have about 150 students, about 40 or 50 on the waiting list. This is a classroom that needs to be finished. And then Pula is about 750,000 people. Basically, if they had enough classrooms and teachers, they could fill them all. So Daniel prayed three times a day. That's who God made him to be. He was a man of faith. What personally impacted me was just God's ever-presence through everything. Everything that I saw, I saw the people, the things that they were praying for, the things that they were working on, the things they were struggling with, and God showed up for everybody. So he's thrown in with the lions. I'm so humbled and honored to have had the opportunity to visit Mozambique and see the people of God truly laying down their lives and answering the call of God. This call says not only do you have to get up and move, you have to do. So my world is bigger, not only just in my little circle, but through this experience, I realized that we're called outside of this place. So I'm encouraged. The hardest thing in my life, I think in all of our lives, is to get open, to hear God. And that's what impacted me so much, is that we met a people from all over the world that had heard God say yes. Just seeing all these people being called by God from different countries and just having a vision for these businesses that God had given them and then coming to Mozambique and giving up their comforts, their friends, their family, just giving up everything from their home to see this vision come through. And it was just amazing to see all these stories come together and how God just brought them together as well. When they started, it didn't have a place for their kids to go to school, which is one of the reasons why they started the school. We did get to spend a little bit of time in the classrooms with the kids. The teacher in my classroom allowed them to ask me any question they wanted. The next question was, is your village rich? And when you think about that in the context that we're in, I'm thinking, oh, Smyrna, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's, maybe it's up there a little bit, but not as high as others, you know, maybe it's right in the middle of the road. But in that context, it was like, absolutely like super rich and I think in that moment it, it really just resonated with me just what we have it was life-changing every aspect of the trip was life-changing